So today is Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Buenos dias, como estas, amigos? <laughs> Welcome to Cuba, day four. Uh, I got up at 7.30 and decided to go for a walk slash jog. And uh, so my walk consisted going from our place, I went all the way around uh, through the lobby area and then around this side. I made a mistake and went out here somewhere. Uh, I also made a mistake and went down here because I thought this was this. So I eventually went around. Uh, I went out to the ocean, came back, and then cut through and went all the way around this way and back in. Had a shower and uh, worked on the vlog a little bit. Carol wanted to sleep in a little bit longer. and uh, But now we're off to breakfast once again. And I'll probably have an omelette, just like normal. But today we might be headed into town. We have to make that decision. Uh, to either town or spa or both. We are all done breakfast and apparently you're not supposed to eat too much of the mango because it's a natural laxative. I wonder if, you, if, if we ate one mango like that every day, would it, would it mess you up or would you just get used to it? I don't know. This is so pretty here. <laughs> I can't get over it. It is so nice. Let's take a peek at the spa. Booked in for a massage, are you? Booked in for a massage. Did you even go? You didn't even go back there to look around. I did. Oh, it's amazing. It's beautiful. I almost fell asleep just walking through there. It was so peaceful. <laughs> I was gonna check the gym. Well, there are people working out and stuff, so I couldn't really show. But uh, there's two rooms. This one has more free weight stuff, and this one's more cardio. So they have a bunch of bikes, treadmills. Uh, seemed like pretty new equipment. So that was a good thing. Uh, this side had more free weights and a universal type gym set up and, uh, and both sides are air conditioning. <laughs> there is like condensation on the inside of the window. It's so cold in there or cooler than out here in this humid air. Now I was going to take a peek at this, just the little shopping area. <laughs> Carol, we're going to go into town. It is just before 12. 
got myself a beer and it turns when I first looked in the fridge the mini bar I thought that uh, there was only pop and it's because this looks like a pop it doesn't even look like a beer I didn't even read the word cerveza at the at the top so the mini bars are stocked with two beers four pops and a water so yeah you don't just not supposed to drink the water out of the tap so so we're gonna grab uh, and I think we're gonna be able to take a classic car over to a town that uh, is just down the street. Uh, apparently it's like a 10 minute drive or about 45 minutes to an hour walk. But uh, you don't wanna walk in this Cuban heat without an umbrella or something. So we're gonna grab a classic car, head into town, show you guys around. Oh, there's a old car over there. But we're taking the yellow taxi. Very hot. Yes. Yeah, crazy hot. It is hot today. Hola. Hola. <laughs> so, uh, Las Estrella. It's a shopping plaza. We gotta follow the footprints to the shopping. Anything you see? Lots of stuff. Shop in here, uh, it's got a lot of typical trinkets and uh, they'll even like burn whatever you want on there. So I did like a little Cuba with an umbrella in 2017. It's, it was nice to come here and climb up that tower and it's pretty, so. So I got the choice of all these cars. Nice. Sweet. There was this car, I saw that one yesterday. Hola. Hola. Hello, Frank. Got a little love hearts on here. Look at that, people. Gracias. They got the apple sticker. <laughs> you know, it's a good car when it has an apple sticker on it. back to the hotel the uh, car was very old <laughs> the uh, shocks I don't think there were any shocks and the springs were gone so like it's just like ping, ping, ping down the road it was fun to be in a car like that and uh, I guess the classic cars are six pesos and a regular taxi is five Take the top off. So it's a bit of chicken. Chicken, bacon. 
bacon. Mm. And leftover bread from this morning. Yeah. And one piece of carrot. Yeah. <laughs> good uh, I talked to Andre you have to roll your R's you to look here and not I know I know you gotta, you gotta turn it like that a little bit uh, so I, uh, between here there's the bar is right there and then over there is the banyo which is the washroom so that's the bar so and beside the bar is a restaurant so between the restaurant and the bar, there's a gentleman who we've met since the beginning of us being here. His name is Andre. If you come to this resort, make sure you come to the adult pool, talk with Andre. Nice guy, super awesome guy. He's 24 years old, married, lives in two towns over. As I went to the baño, washroom, and then I came back, I, as I walked through, I, I kind of saluted him, just because I know who he is. Went to the washroom, as I came back, he's like, come here, come here, come here. And then he disappeared for a few minutes. <coughs> then he <laughs> talked about Cuba, where they can and cannot go in the world as a Cuban, and learned a lot. He's 24 years old. Carol and I have been married for 23 years. He was married the year after. Carol and I were married. That's he was, that's that's the he was born the year before we were married. Right. Sorry. Yeah, because he was one when we were married. So it's just amazing that you know, 2004. Sorry, 2003. He was born. 2004. What we are were you mar talking about? We we're married. 1990. What did I say? 2004. You said 2003. Okay. That's, so I just want to make the angle. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so 1993. He, no, don't don't shut it off. I'm not. Oh, it looks like your, button, your fingers on the button. Why? Don't you want me to shut it off? No, I don't want to shut it off. So 2000. Sorry, 1993. He was born. 1994. We're married. Are you sure? Maybe and then you 19, check, check the wedding ring. Make sure. Yes, I remember Does now. Does it taste good? It tastes like 1994. Okay. So. So as I passed the restaurant, he called me over and we chatted for a very long time, talked about Cuba, Canada, where they can and cannot go. It was very, very cool. That's why I like coming to places like this, meeting people. So how are you feeling? Intoxicated. Just a wee bit. I dropped a glass too. He gave me a beer, I drank about three quarters of it, and then I just talking with my hands, and I knocked it out of my hand and dropped it, smashed it. Carol and everybody else in this whole area heard me drop the glass. And he's like, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And I wanted to help him pick up the big chunks of glass. He picked up the big chunks of glass, he cut himself. Now there's a war between Canada and Cuba. No, he said Canada, no. Canada, Cuba, He said war. no war, no war. Canada, Cuba, war. No. Okay, bye-bye. Then, then he gave me a rum and coke. With nothing in it. Yeah. Bye. Bye. What? I turned it on. Did I really? I heard it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not sure you are. Whoa! <laughs> wow! Good catch, eh? Carol, catchy, goody, goody, good catchy. Don't do that. Careful, you're gonna spill your drink. There's no drink. Watch this. <laughs> Don't do that. Stop. <laughs> Grab your stuff. Let's go. All right. Bye. Cheers. Till tomorrow. Till tomorrow. Go that way. <gasps>
It's a sneak. Okay. She's gonna put rum in it. She halves it with rum. Mucho gracias, gracias. señorita. It wasn't even on. I turned it off. So Turn it off. You editing time. Just finished eating at La Piccola restaurant, which is on the west side of the resort, closest to the, the family pool. And it's like a pizzeria. So I had a calzone, which is fabulous. I loved every second of that. You ate every piece of your pizza, didn't you? Oh, yeah. But was it good? It was good. But Carol said, and this is quoting, this is the best dessert I've had, which was a crepe, or in Spanish, crap. We tried to explain it to her what the difference. Crap, crepe, mmm, crap, crepe, mmm. And uh, she got a kick out of that. But we have this really nice scene for you guys to look at when we leave. But Carol said that was the best dessert she's had here. We've been here since Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So four days, this was the best dessert in the resort so far. So look forward to that if you come to this resort. Again, it's the little pizzeria between the family pool and the lobby. Oh, lightning like crazy. We're gonna have a good night. See you guys later. Carol, say bye, please. Bye, guys. Love you.